friends, Logan Wells here with Dream Guitars, and this is a delight. Um, this is a 2016 Triple O cutaway from the one, the only, I know, uh, Irvin Samaji, of course, of Samaji Guitars. Um, this is uh, serial number 463, and we happen to have these three serials um, in, in order, 463, 4, and 5. Um, they were all specced out and commissioned by the same gent, and we have them here at the shop now, so... Huh. It is an absolute delight uh, and a privilege to be able to spend time with these guitars. Um, this particular one has six spurs on top, which is classic. Irvin has built so many sick guitars over the years. We have Brazilian rosewood for the back and sides, um, which this has come from his Minerva stash. So it's very special stuff, um, very straight grain. It's gorgeous. It sounds amazing. Um, and this also has a multi-scale setup. It's fan fret, um, 26 inches on the base to 25 inches on the top end, um, 12 fret neck join, which moves that bridge down further in the lower bout, helps activate that lower bout on the top. And the voice in this guitar, uh, okay, you have the classic Samaji bottom end, woof, that really big wall of sound bass response, but this guitar also has this really expansive mid-range and these trebles that are just, uh, if, if the word sparkle could somehow convey heft at the same time, that's what it would be. It's like sparkly heft. Um, it's like juicy but clear. Really cool stuff. And also, so this top is, is very delicately voiced. It's very sensitive. So you get this cool like node effect where I will, um, I'll just show you. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's, it's changing how it sounds just by having the pressure of my hand on the top there. And there's a couple other nodes on the top that, that do that as well. It's just, whew, um, you know, there's a reason Irvin um, titled his books The Responsive Guitar. That's what that is. So let's, uh, let's get into it for a bit. <clears throat> All right, so six Bruce on top, and you will also notice this is one of Irvin's very intricately um, achieved chip carved rosettes backed with red washi paper. Um, Leah Buendia, who of course learned um, with Irvin, also does these and does them so well. Um, this is an example of, you know, the original master uh, at work. And it just looks so good. I love the red washi paper. That really makes uh, the Sitka pop, actually, as well as all those intricate little marks done with just a couple of little super razor sharp knives. Um, since this is multi-scale, you'll notice this is a fan fret bridge um, where it's you know, pivoted here for that longer bass string. Uh, cutaway in the sky. We also have his abalone bar um, uh, fingerboard inlays, which very smart look. Coming around to the side, you'll notice we have uh, red position markers on the side here. And then this is that Brazilian rose that I was talking about, the Minerva stash. Um, we have this really good looking um, black ink lines. And as we come around to the back, Mm, just super straight grained, you know, it's boring, <laughs> so to speak, um, quarter sun, Brazilian resolute, that is cream of the crop kind of stuff right there. Absolutely a treasure. And one other detail um, you'll notice on all three of these guitars is at the heel, um, we have a sailboat uh, motif here inlaid at the heel. Of course, very well done. Yep. And while we're at it, um, you'll notice this is kind of a, a low profile heel, which is another Irvin classic, um, so it helps get your left hand all the way up onto that fingerboard extension. Yep. Um, if memory serves, these are Rogers tuners as well with snakewood buttons, the headstock. And as we come around to the front, um, this is Irvin's uh, fan fret headstock profile. You know, it's shifted. And uh, the veneer is his patio stone or patio floor um, head plate veneer. And that requires a lot of work. Um, it's very painstaking execution, just like that chip carved rosette. A lot of work goes into this. Um, mm, this looks so good. So yeah. Uh, if you are interested in learning more about this 2016 Triple O cutaway from Irvin Samaji, give us a shout. We would love to chat. Cheers. Mm -hmm.